Hogwarts Purchase Simulator. I can own Hogwarts. Psh, first order of business, I'm raising taxes. Quest to save the world. I'm not. Fuck them workers. Because that's how they did it to me. And as the trans people taught me, an eye for an eye, world peace. Let's start. Hogwarts Purchase Simulator. Quest to save the workers. Okay. You know, I pressed start already, but that's okay. You know, it might have loaded in if I had a save file. New game. Disclaimer, this game is a satire. The events and dialogue in it are fictional and only inspired by reality. Good. Because, uh... Yeah, if there's, if there's one thing I understand about the types of people who make experiences like this, it's that they're pretty out of touch with reality, so... I, I doubt that, you know, they should play with anything other than what they understand, which is fiction. Continue. Contains transphobia. I mean, well, so does Hogwarts Legacy, apparently, and I played through all of it, and I can't find any of it. It's weird. It's weird. So continue. David Zaslav. Hello, dear gamer. My name is David Michael Zaslav, and I am CEO of Warner Brothers. What is this, like a dating sim? I, I, something, 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 something about this guy, like I want to date him. He seems like he really doesn't understand, you know, computers well enough to not uh, upload an image that would be kind of smushed. You know what I mean? And uh, that could be a fault of the the site itself. But, you know, either way, I could teach him a couple of things. I would really appreciate it if you could buy our new game. What game would that be? It's called Hogwarts Legacy. And the developers worked hard, so they need their reward. Well... I can understand where he's coming from with that. I thought I'd be owning Hogwarts. So, I don't know if the title may have been shortened. Look at, look at this desktop interface. It's just terrible. I mean, like, look how big it is. Can I resize this? No. No matter what I do, it's just, like, really big, ugly, and awkward. The time is on top of the date. You know? Ugh. I just don't like it. Here we go. Somebody named Ashley. Ooh, ugh. Ugh. You know what I mean? Ashley trying too hard. You know, fit. Come on. What are you? Ugh. Looking like looking like a character in one of them games I wouldn't buy. You know what I'm talking about? Go back to the other guy. I'll buy his game just by virtue of whoever this is that exists. Why are you breaking into my conversation with this other person? This is a hacker. Ashley says, "Hey, I saw this guy is trying to convince you to buy his game. I just want you to know that there are lots of problems with this game." Oh, hell, that's that's pretty based. You're trying to let me know that there's problems before I, you know, I spend my hard-earned money? And I say, okay, what, what, what's going on? Ashley goes on to say, yeah, I'm sorry to bother you with this, but uh, just know that Hogwarts Legacy is associated with J.K. Rowell. Here we fucking go. I don't care. She has been using, uh-huh, mm -hmm. you know, buy it. Yeah, buy it, buy one. Jesus. What is this? A news article over here. Utah just banned gender-affirming health care for transgender kids. This bitch really did hack me. I'm getting all kinds of pop-ups. There's not even a browser open. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So this is like a hacker. I should just turn this bitch off right now. What if they're using this to actually get into my computer? Can you imagine? Ashley goes on to say, Oh, you bought it anyway? Well, you have the right to do what you want, but I'm disappointed. Who the fuck are you? Get the fuck out of here. That you have any commentary on me purchasing something as harmless as a video game is kind of ridiculous. Why are there news articles popping up on my really ugly desktop? I don't know. But let's continue. Dave, my man, my man, he said, thank you so much for your support. You're welcome. You're welcome. I appreciate you thanking me after I've done something for you. That's kind. Manners. You know what I mean? I'm sorry for their interruption. I don't know who that was. I don't know if this is secure, you know, you're, I, 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 you're an old man. I, I understand. I can teach you a thing or two. Take me out on your yacht. You know what I mean? Continue. You keep, you need to keep buying copies though, or do you want those game developers to not be rewarded for their hard work? You know, I understand where you're coming from. Maybe it might be more uh, beneficial for me to like maybe inform other people about it, kind of showcase the game, play it, maybe stream it. So that people can see what's going on in it. And maybe they that can inform their, their decision. J.K. Rowling! Oh my god! Oh my god! Well, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not properly dressed. Oh snap, J.K. Rowling speaking like a snake. She says, yes! Buy more copies. 
it will save the workers from misery. What kind of weird interface is going on on this this like chat that we have going on here? No, no complaints. I mean, if I'm if this is the J.K. Rowling, she didn't have a problem spacing her image, so it is the old man. By process of elimination, gotta be the old man. He didn't know how to space his image, or could it be that the person who crafted this experience was too stupid to find an image that wasn't weirdly spaced to put into this? Uh, no, let's not even worry about that. Let's not even worry about that. Continuing, will I buy more copies? <sighs> well, if that was the real J.K. Rowling, I mean, who am I? I will. Okay. She says, yes, buy Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> okay. You know, what, is, what is she doing here? Is, is this really J.K. Rowling? David Zaslav says, ignore her. I promise we don't associate with her. What? Why? You're, you're selling her game. Of course you do. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? In fact, she had no say in the development of this game. I can I can accept that. You know? You're the intellectual property, uh, you know? You, you're the author. They just come to you. They go, hey, let me use your thing. Here's the money. We won't fuck it up. It's not going to make it weird. We're not going to damage it. We're not making like a, a trans bat motherfucker. You know what I mean? It's not it's not like a bat girl movie or something. That would be that would be damaging to the brand. We couldn't let that get out. The audiences would be so mad they probably just turned into murders. You know what I'm saying? We could probably make a movie about the screening of that movie because it's so bad because that that people just turned on uh, other people in the theater. They just wanted to know what it was like to feel again. You know what I'm talking about? It's because they're putting a, they're putting a trans bat woman out there. That's when you knew that it was over. That's when you know this woke shit was coming to an end. It wasn't Velma. It wasn't uh, that Lord of the Rings with all the black people. It wasn't, uh, you know, any any one particular thing. As terrible as it is to say. It was Batgirl. I gotta learn to stop when you're behind, man. Continue. I promise. She just follows me around sometimes for no particular reason. Okay. She needs to teach you how to space your fucking image properly. Buy another copy? Sure, I mean, yeah, you keep giving me the uh, Utah just banned gender... But nigga, isn't that the same headline? Stop the music. Isn't that the same headline? The game's not even well-programmed enough to not give me duplicate headlines. It's almost like there's not even enough things happening in a gender capacity to make enough to be like, oh, this is like pathetic. J.K. Rowling is like hissing. She's this is the best you guys can do. You know that trans people listen to me every fucking time you mention Harry Potter or Hogwarts Legacy. You are feeding. You are feeding this woman. Relevance is revenue. How much do you hate Kim Kardashian? Tell us all about it. Keep talking about Kim Kardashian. Keep talking about Kanye West. You fucking rubes. You simpletons. Hate it and quit it. You know what that means? Watch enough TikToks until you get what that fucking means. Hate it and quit it. That's tragic that the same article came up twice. Because it really does make it seem as if there's like not a lot going on with you guys. How can we be sympathetic when the smartest thing for you to do is to stop? You're hurting yourself at this point. You're, you're planting a sword in the ground, like tip up and then falling on it. We're supposed to feel bad about that. People are taking their own lives and you're trying to like blame that on people like it's their fault. You know, it's a choice. That's crazy, right? You're sick. I've seen so many people combining topics, topics, trying to game the algorithm by combining the death of some some person with Hogwarts Legacy. And it's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I know some of you are kids, but those of you with a mind should be embarrassed by this because I can tell you, I've also seen a sentiment or a narrative that, oh, it's just like trolls and 4chan people pretending to be trans and making us look bad. Nope. Those of you who are proudly waving that banner, showing us how how poorly you pass, it is disgusting, your behavior on the internet. It's monstrous. Making people cry and dismissing them because they're cisgender, only to find out that they're actually Jewish. In which case it's all, oh, now you have a problem with it. You were fine being sick before because they were different, yet you need to be accepted. It's sick. It's sick. It's sick and it's sad. And it's weird because we're all jealous, dude. 
You're filtering that attention right back to her, which turns into money. She couldn't wipe her ass with the money fast enough to outpace what you're helping her make, you dumb motherfucker. And we could give you any short, no shortage of education on how being on a phone, how going to a grocery store and picking up literally anything, buying gas, funny as hell, funny as hell. This is so, it's, it's helping end the woke war. I'm very, I'm happy for it. I'm appreciative. Uh, thank you, tr trans people.